Hello, hello. Good evening, William. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm good, teacher. And you? Excellent, I am fine. Thank you very much. How was your weekend? My weekend, excellent, teacher. Uh, to rest uh, Sunday. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So you were at oh. home ye yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, for for a lot of rain. Oh yeah, because of the rain. It was raining yesterday. Yes, all day. Uh, now, oh. now, now too. Oh, really? Yes. Here would I live? No rain all day. Uh, mayor. Uh, here. Here, uh, nuevamente, teacher. Again. Here, again. Eh, eh. Eh, Salí tarde. I got out late. Here, again. I got out late in my car. Oh, really? That's bad. That's bad. By rain. <laughs> oh, really? Because of the rain. Because of the rain. You yes. say it like this. Look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to say it like this. Because of the rain. Because of the rain. Uh, all the all week uh, rain teacher. Oh, sing 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 weekend and during this week rain. Oh my gosh! Okay, let me text your classmate that it's time, please. Just a second. Dice realice sería realice. Realize. No, eso es darse cuenta. Realize, eh, darse cuenta. Yes, to realize. Realize. I did, yo realicé, yo hice. I did activity in record time. Activity daily. Oh, really? Now, Your day? Now my daily my activities. My daily activities. My I day. My daily activities in record time. My daily activities in record time in my work. Well, that's great that you were able to perform good in your job. That's something very important. Yes, I I like it. I like my work teacher. That's good. That's good. I mean, it's always good when we like what we do. That's actually very important. 
Yes. So you finish working at what time you tell me? Uh, five and 40 minutes. 540, that's a little bit late. Yes. For rain. Because of the rain. Because of the rain. Okay, well, thank you very much and welcome to the class, mister. Thanks, teacher. No, thanks to you for being here all the time. We are always the first one in the class. That's good. Thank you, William. Let's see, let's see, Marta. Hello, Marta. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Marta, how are you? I'm good, and you? Well, you know, here, same old story as usual. Work, work, um, work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the way it goes. And tell me, how was your weekend? My weekend was uh, a very relaxed teacher. You know, a very relaxed the, weekend. Yes, cool. the same schedule for me. Uh, same story. I we I went to uh, supermarket, the church, um, clean my house. The same as casual regular. Really? Yes. Okay. Did you do something good yesterday in the afternoon? Uh, no, nothing special. Nothing special? Did, it, did you take a nap or something like that? Uh, no. Yesterday I not. And I because didn't. I didn't. Because I went to pay my bills in the, in the afternoon, so I know the canal. I didn't. I did. Sorry. You didn't take a nap because you went to pay your bills on Sunday. Yes. That's that's something different. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, okay, just give me a second. Okay, so and tell me, how was your day? How was today, Martha? My day was very busy. Um, many things to do and on Monday, but everything was well. That's cool. I mean, it's always good when, when everything goes according to the plan. So you have dinner already? Yes. Okay, what did you have for dinner, my dear? Uh, it's nice. I eat avocado okay. with beans and tea. Use that. Oh. You like tea for dinner? Yes. Every night, my drink regular is tea. My regular drink? My regular drink is tea. Mm, that's interesting. I take tea when I'm sick. But... No. Uh, well, I, I usually take it for my throat. It's good for my throat because, I mean, I, I work speaking all day long. Ah, okay. No, in my case, because the calories, uh, I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Hmm. It's dinner, that's... teacher. Yeah, no calories well. for me in, in dinner. Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> That's quite interesting. 
Well, thank you, Martha, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Shanira, hello. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Hello, Shanira. Same old story. What about you? Well, same story, too. I work on weekend, and I'm here. I, I remember that I have homework for tomorrow, but I cannot, I couldn't work in my homework. Then I work this night for, for the one work, but I have- I will, idea. I will work. I will work I will tonight. Work. Yeah, I will work tonight, but I have the, the main idea for my homework. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay, and tell me, how was the weekend? You tell me you were working the whole weekend? Yeah, I work the whole weekend. <laughs> I work a lot. Uh, well, I I had to, to, I don't know, how do you say? Entregar, teacher. Deliver. Uh, maybe it's not the word because. Turn in. I'm sorry? Turn in. Turn in. Yep. Turn in a, a project, but the, well, this is a reason that I work a whole weekend. Okay, so you need to turn, you have to turn in a project. Yeah. Okay, and what's the project about? Well, it's a uh, software for, okay. uh, for take, I don't know, for uh, give control. Maybe it's not give the, the exactly word, but I try to explain is the software for control payments and I don't know how to say matriculas teacher. Enrollments, enrollments. Enrollments and students for a college. Okay. For a private school, you mean? Yeah, for a private school. Yeah, because if you say college, you are talking about university. Ah, okay. Private school. That's fine. That's quite interesting. Yeah, I have a negrero boss. <laughs> How do you say negrero? <laughs> slavies. Slavies. Slave. Yeah, I have a slavery boss. Then tell me that if I can finish my work, she. Uh, what do you say, the spedir teacher? <laughs> oh, she will fire me. What fire. do you say? Fire. She, uh, my boss fire me. Will fire me or will fire me? Okay, will, will, no, will fire me. Oh, really? That's bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, then I work a whole weekend for this reason. Oh my God, so sorry to hear that. That's pretty bad. Well, welcome to the class, Janina. Yeah. Pretty interesting having you here today. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Was good. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Fernando, how is it going? Hi, teacher. I, I'm practicing for my big presentation tonight. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's excellent. That's excellent. 
That's the attitude. Yes, that's the attitude. And I, a little tired because the work, you know. Oh yeah, and you are the first one with the presentation. Then it's Daniel and then it's Marta. Yes. Right? Okay. What, what good, time will good. be the presentation? Uh, around nine. Around nine. Okay. After the, the <laughs> yeah, after the, the attendance. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Not, well, yeah, oh, you got time. No worry, relax. It's it's just speaking. Yeah, it's just just speaking, but um there are some words that it's complicated for me the, the pronunciation and I don't have time for counsel you. Oh really? Mm, yeah, because yeah. well but, actually and I had a problem. I changed it my, my phone number. I don't know if you realize. Yeah, I, I noticed. Okay. Because the other one is out of order. El otro está descontinuado. Okay. But uh, you can correct me during the, the presentation, please. Okay, I will do, will do, don't worry. Okay. Okay, and tell me, how was the weekend? Oh, the weekend was very hard because the next weekend is, is my uh, daughter's birthday. Your daughter's birthday? Yeah. She... Oh my gosh, that's going to be interesting. How old is she going to become? Uh, I don't know how to say, ella cumplirá. She will turn. She will turn. Oh, she will turn six, six years. Oh, that's nice, sweet <laughs> little thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's tiny. Is she, is she daddy's girl? Uh, sorry? Is she daddy's, okay, hello. Oh, daddy's girl. Okay, oh, daddy's hello. girl. That, that is girl, yeah, I got yeah. it. That is girl, that means that uh, es la consentida de papá. Yeah, is the, is the, is the only one girl. Oh, that's why, that's why. That is the only one girl, so. Uh, yesterday, uh, I went with, with she and- With her. Wife, uh, with her, sorry. I, I went with her and, and my wife and my son to choose the, the gift. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, yeah, because um, we were changing the, the the dynamic in, in this 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 year when when the children's birthday uh, okay. we we go with them to the toy shop mm. toy yeah. store toy store A toy store okay it's the toy store but for they choice um Choose. For, they choose. For, for they choose their their the toys. Yeah, oh, that's cool. They, they give uh, and, and okay, toys and game for puzzle. I don't know. Interesting. So yes, you have uh, a family tradition. Uh, yeah, it's se está volviendo. It's became. It's becoming. Uh, it's becoming a family tradition. This year. It, we started with that. Okay, that's cool. Excellent. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to see that in your family you can have that type of traditions. It's always good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Fernando, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Carlos, how are you? Hello, thank you. Fine, teacher. Okay, and tell me, how's everything? No. Today I have uh, <laughs> uh, because I stay in Celepango teacher. Um, <laughs> and 
But it's fine. I'm fine, teacher. You are suffering from the heat. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine it's pretty hot. Well, for me, it's hot today here where I live. Let's hope it rains tonight. <laughs> So, and are you staying the whole week or just today? Yeah, uh, I, I stayed uh, for three days yesterday and tomorrow. Uh, oh. And then you're because, going back to Yes, I, 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 I went back to for you because uh, tomorrow I have gone, I have Yes, I can go to the hospital because my brother I will have a surgery in, in October and I have to um, donate, I think, donate uh, blood. Yeah, donate. Yes. I have okay, to listen, that. listen. Your, bro your brother will undergo surgery. Okay. Someterse a. Okay, teacher. He will undergo surgery. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. And tell me, when you stay, when you stay in Soyapango like this, are you staying with your whole family or just on your own? No, when, when with the family from my wife. Uh, oh, yes, I I stay here in Soyapango. But... Okay, listen. This is like this. Okay, with with my in-laws my in-laws okay that that means the family of your wife okay. your wife's relatives your wife's relatives are your in-laws okay i stay in, in in his house and um, but, okay, well, uh, uh, the good uh, thing uh, is the good thing is that you have somewhere to stay. Lo bueno que tiene donde estar. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah. the weather because being traveling all the way there, like man, that's terrible. Yes, teacher. Well, uh, de vez en cuando, sometimes, I oh, it's, it's oh, good. Oh, oh. once in a while. Okay, once in a while. Once on a while. Yeah, once on a while, de vez en cuando. Yeah, it's good. I mean, to change the environment is always good. Okay, well, welcome to the class, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No, thank teacher. you, my friend. Yes, mister? Sorry, once on a while. That is. De vez en cuando. Oh, once in a while. Okay, thank you. No problem, no problem. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? <laughs> Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm how fine. are you? I'm fine. I feel happy. <laughs> You feel happy? That's cool. Can I know the reason? Mm, no. Anything today, special? Um, did they gave the answer for the test? Okay. Um, it's okay. All oh, is a negative. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Good to hear that. I'm I'm happy for this reason and. I don't know today. I I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I have a lot of work. Tuvo or no? No. I didn't have. Uh, I didn't have a lot of work. Is very rare. Rare. Raro. Yeah, it's rare. It's rare. It's not regularly. But okay. I I have a lot of time. I work 
<laughs> I work in my bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> and then work in a living room and I didn't have a lot of work. I oh. almost sales 36 policies. Poli policies, yes. Yeah. It's very, it's very bad for the commercials. <laughs> mm, but I don't know what the reason. For the company. Uh -huh, for the company. Huh? Maybe oh. in the week I pay all the time because the salary have a heavy, had a heavy salary. Oh, you are expecting a heavy Saturday. Yes, I pay all the time the Saturday. <laughs> but I'm fine. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, thank you very much, Maria Alejandra. Welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me see, let me see. Uh, we need to get attendance. We're getting attendance right now. Let's see. Today we are September the 13th. Monday. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. That's weird. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Okay. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Okie dokie. Let's continue. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Roxana, how was the weekend? Hi, teacher. I think that it was very easy because easy. I didn't. Yeah, because I didn't do the laundry. I didn't have water all the time because I don't know why. Uh, sometimes uh, we have water one day, yes, and another we don't, we didn't have. It's okay, you say that like this. You say every other every other day. That's the way you say it. Every other day. Every other day we didn't have. No, when you say we have water every other day. Ah, okay. When you say that expression, you are saying one day yes, one day no. Okay. Okay. Cuando usted dice every other day, está diciendo un día sí, un día no. Okay. Me dijo we. 
We have, we water. have we... water every every, every other, other day. day. We yeah. have water every other day. So uh, we had a water Saturday at the morning, but I was working. So I, I didn't do the laundry. Okay. And for Monday, uh, we Sunday, did a, Sunday, sorry, Sunday. Um, on Sunday, we have, we had at the night, at night, but I was very uh, tired because uh, we are, we were looking for the washer machine all, all Sunday. Oh, really? You got a new one? No, not yet. We just uh, take notes and evaluate what is the best a option. option. Now it's very difficult oh. because the prices are prices. very prices. The prices is very uh, high. Yeah, are very high. Yeah, so it's very complicated. But maybe uh, tomorrow. We, just, we are deciding what is the best option. And oh. for that, I think that the reason why I think that it was a very easy weekend. I could uh, spend time with my family. Uh, we are uh, advanced with my son, a lot of uh, homework. That's and nice, that's nice. So you've been busy. Yeah. My weekend uh, usually are like that, teacher, because uh, in my case, I hate work Sunday, uh, Saturday, sorry, but I need to do. It's very yeah. difficult because you, you need more hours in your weekend to take a rest like you. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's very, yeah. very complicated. I mean the jobs are very demanding and then on weekends we don't have enough time for resting yeah i got you i understand mm. you well roxana uh, yeah tell me today it was a very uh, totally different day than uh, maria alejandra because oh, you were very busy yeah i finished my work at 6 30 p.m Oh my and gosh. my official, yeah, my official schedule is around uh, 4 p.m. But I now, uh, after the closing, I have a lot of work. Maybe tomorrow too, but uh, it's all the all it's, day. It's like that. Yeah, it's the way it goes. Well, welcome to the class, Roxana. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Hey, guys. Wait a second, please. Just a minute.
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am back. I am back. Sorry, guys. Just a little something. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Thank you very much. That's great. And tell, tell me, how was your weekend, Daniel? Uh, very busy, but everything's fine. Uh, and well, yesterday I finally wake up at around 9 p.m. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. you can see this. Yesterday well, I finally I finally slept late. Oh. <laughs> slept oh, late. That's, yeah, that's cool. I mean, you really rest. Yeah. Yeah, that's I that's something that I, I really miss. Missed. Yeah, I imagine. I mean, uh, resting is very important and sometimes we don't have enough time to do it. Yeah, but hopefully this week I will not rest, but we'll have some great uh, effects. Effects? Yeah. Effects. Yeah, effects. Yeah, yeah. Or results. Or re results. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I sometimes I uh, I have a little confusion with the words. Uh, no problem. No problem. That's why we are here. Don't worry about it. Results. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yeah. I mean, you make a big effort. You expect results, and when you get them, they are sat satisfactory for you, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we are That's hoping. Normal. Well, uh, the first things that we are going to do is to fix one budget, because the client said he want uh, at first he want a huge construction, but then he saw the price and said no. Um, well, fix that. So mm -hmm. uh, we hope with the smaller one. It's it's not smaller. It's at first he want a big house and a guest guest house. Now only okay. want the the big house, so okay. it will be cheaper. <clears throat> so yeah, but we hope still, there is still a big project for you coming on. Yeah, yeah, because it's probably about seven months. Oh really, a seven months project? That's yeah, cool. it depends on the weather maybe and actually it's a little more because all the part of planning yes yeah okay well but if we are talking a seven months project that's good for the company right yeah that's really good yeah and also for your workers your employees i mean they're going to have a lot to do yeah and a uh, sec um, secure job or sure 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 job it's really nice for uh, the seven months yeah of course of course it's always good to have i mean something well for you and for your and for your uh, uh um for you and for your employees, it's always good to have something steady. Yeah, that's what we are looking for. Yeah, of course. And I mean, it's not always easy to, to keep people working. And I mean, it's a big responsibility. And besides that, yeah. besides that I mean, you want to... Okay, hold on. Sorry. You want to have your you want to have your work your work force. You want to have your workforce with you all the time, right? Yeah. Workforce. Uh, su mano de obra. Sus trabajadores. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, that the <laughs> that's what we want. Well, interesting to hear that, Daniel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. How's everything? I'm sorry, teacher. Would you repeat it? It's uh, raining. It is very it's, hard and I can listen to it. It's raining? Cool. Yeah. Very hard. It is cold. Nice. I am sweating here. I, I don't know if about the rain, the internet, it is, it is so so bad because in my computer I can get connection. That's oh, why really? I I got connection with my cell phone. But no, I, it is I'm okay. just asking, how was the weekend? No, very good. It was good because in the morning I went to visit to a doctor in San Salvador with oh, my really? sister. And what did it go? Everything fine? Uh, would you repeat it? How did it go? Como les fue? I was good because the, the traffic, it wasn't, it wasn't hard. Okay. We arrived without trouble, but um, around 1 p.m., we arrived at home. And in the afternoon, um, I went to, to play with my son. In the afternoon at 4 p.m., I went to play. Okay, that's cool. So you went to play soccer? I'm sorry, cool. teacher. I... We will talk later. Don't worry, Wilfredo. Don't worry, don't uh, worry. But... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we can talk after, after the rain. Perfect. Let's see, okay guys, well, today's going to be very interesting. Hello to the rest of the people. Uh, I think I got a full house right now. No, I'm still missing one. Who's the one that I'm missing? Let me check. Oh, it's Francisco. Francisco's been absent today, that's weird. Okay, let's see, well, Tonight we are going to be working in different stuff. We are going to be talking about uh, uh, superlatives. It's very interesting. I'm going to show you a small presentation. Actually, we are going to review a previous presentation that I showed to you already, but now we are going to focus on the uh, comparatives. And it's going to be quite nice, very nice. But first, we got a small conversation from the plat, from the manual. Do you remember? So today we are talking about monitoring personnel. Okay. How do you monitor personnel? That's a very, very interesting conversation. We are going to talk about a good topic today. So let's see. Let me just get this ready. Perfect. We're going to start with the conversation right now, guys. Let me share with you. And here we go. Let's see. The conversation goes like this. Let's get the sure of it so you can have it there in your gadgets and the conversation says Laura how do you keep the schedule organized my staff is always complaining I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones that sounds like the most efficient way I bet it saves a lot of time yes it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. I repeat. Laura, 
How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. I repeat one last time. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, guys, we are going to start doing the exercise. Groups are created, please jump in. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, sir, Susanna. Okay. Um, it's a picture. Um, uh, star in me. Um, uh, Laura, who do you keep this Kaplu organization? My my staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see the, their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Uh, teacher, I bet it yes. says es apuesto que, que ahorras. Okay, let's see. Oh. I bet it is the uh hold on, hold on. where are we? Uh, yeah. I bet it saves. Yes, I bet, I bet it, saves. it saves a lot of time. Eh, apuesto que sí, ahorra mucho tiempo. Oh, okay. Okay, I start. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient efficient way. I sounds. Don't say sounds. Sounds. Okay, that sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff. No, I bet I, I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff or organized um, on time. Okay, I start. Laura, how do you... Laura, 
How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I efficient. bet it's safe. Sorry? Efficient. 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 Yes. Efficient. Like efficient. Okay, the most efficient way. I bet it's saved a lot of time. My, my staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. Sounds. I bet, sounds. That sounds, yes. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes. Okay, let's see. Fernando and Susana. Fernando, you start, please. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Laura, how do you keep the schedules organized? My organized. Staff, organized. My staff is always complaining. I use online service so that the staff can see their schedule from day phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I, I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Organized. Organized. Okay, organized thank you. Carlos and Marta. Carlos, you start, please. Okay, teacher. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule for their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Wilfredo and William. Wilfredo, you'll start. Okay. William. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That's all right. The most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect, guys. Marcela and Nestor. Marcela, you'll start. 
Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service, service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized, organized and on time. Efficient, Marcela. Efficient. Efficient. Perfect. Claudia and Roxana. Claudia, you start. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That's online, the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect, thank you very much. Daniel and Jency. Daniel, just start, please. <laughs> okay, teacher. No, <laughs> no, I can't Give, because, uh, yeah. a little. Okay. Yeah, Laura, how do you keep their schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from the front. That sounds like the, like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect, thank you very much. Ambar and Maria Alejandra. Ambar, you start. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their education for their home. That's online the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Excellent, ladies. Very well done. Now, let's see Mr. Jose Osorio and Walter. Jose, you'll start. Walter, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Um, I use online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way and to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, perfect, very well done. Now, Maria Luisa and Janira. Maria Luisa, you'll start. Okay. Laura, how do you keep, skip, uh, perdón, excuse me, excuse me, me trabé. Laura, how do you skip the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see the schedule from their phones. That seconds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, Maria Lisa, that sounds, that sounds. That sounds. Okay, now, Nicolas and Silvia. Nicolas, you start, please. Laura, how do you keep this, this catch the schedule uh, organi or organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep the staff organized and on time. Okay, perfect, excellent. 
Now let's see again, Fernando and Susana, but this time Susana, you start. Hi, teacher. I, I listen. You start. Susana. Okay. Laura, who do you keep the schedule organizer? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect, thank you. Now, Marta and Carlos. Marta, you'll start this time. Okay, Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That's unlike the most efficient way. I bet uh, it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Now, let's see um, Roxana and Claudia. Roxana, you'll start. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from, from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, sorry for the rest of you, but it's time for me to get the attendance again. Let's see. Just let me set it up. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present, teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Muila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Okay. Mendes Nicolás present. Thank you, Nicolás. Didn't I mention you? Nicolás Atilio Mendes Granados. Okay. Now let's see. Fernando, the time has come. Are you here with me? Yes, teacher. I hear you. Okay. It's the time My for time the presentation. Come. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. I I I will share my screen with you. Perfect. That's fine. Okay. And Hello. Yes, we hear you. Yes, I heard you. Can you? Yep. Okay. Uh, I will talk about my favorite books. To be specific, my top five. Okay. Okay. First, uh, I will talk about a little about me and reading. Since I learned to read, uh, to read, I have always liked to read everything I see. At school, for me, it was not a punishment that the teacher sent me to read Shakespeare classes or Greek tragedies. In fact, the number three of my top five, I discovered it because I had to do a homework about it in high school. I have read many books, to be honest. Some I no longer remember that I read them. It is until I see a comment about them that I realize that I read it already. Okay, next, I will show you the five books that for me are the best that exist. Okay, number five. I am not a big fan of the horror genre, but someone learned it me this book and it fascinated me. Its name, its name is The Gospel of Evil, written by Patrick Graham and, and published it in 2007. The Gospel of Evil is a horror and suspense suspense novel about the it's battle. A thriller. A thriller. It's a thriller. Okay, it's a thriller. Yeah about the battle of an FBI special alien and a satanist organization that considers taking over control of the Vatican. And if you like the Vinci's Cove or similar, you must read it. And number four, if you want, if you want to read something defined with social satire, Elegant, hilarious, a little scary, but defin definitely a masterpiece. I recommend it, The Picture of Dorian Gray, written by Oscar Wilde. And written. Published, uh, written, written, sorry, written by Oscar Wilde, published it in 1890. And it's the story of a uh, fashionable of fashionably young man who sells his soul for eternal love and beauty is the author's most popular work. And number three, when I first read the following book, I found it wonderful, charming, mind blowing, incredible. To be honest, I couldn't believe how the story I had just finished reading took uh, 100 years and everything was incredible. In the number three, there are 100 years of solitude. 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 Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It, it's a Langman novel that tells the multi generational story of the Buendia family, whose patriarch. Yeah, Patriarch. Whose Patriarch, Jose Arcadio Buendilla, founded the town of Macondo, fictitious, obviously. The novel is often cited as one of the supreme achievements in literature. 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 Okay. And continue with number two. And in this case, many people know about this story because they saw the very successful television, television series, Game of Thrones, which is very good. 
it is a shame that the ending cuts, but the books are something else. The story has not ended and continues to maintain its quality. I belong to that group of people who wait impatiently for the next book. It is already 10, 10 years of waiting. A Song of Ice and Fire, uh, written by George Martin in 1996, to who knows, the, the story has no end. Uh, this series is an epic fantasy novel. He began the, the first volume of the series, A Game of Thrones, in 1991, and it was published in 1996. Martin, who initially, who in, initially, who initially said the series as a trilogy, has published five of, of A Planet Seven volumes. The fifth and the most recent volume of the series, A Dance with Dragon, was published in 211 and took Martin six years to write. He is currently writing the sixth novel. I really, really, really hope the, he ends soon. And my number one book is The Hits Chicker's Guide to the Galaxy. Hits, Hits Chicker, teacher. Yeah, The Hits Hiker, Hits Hiker. The Hits Hiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This book follows the story of a hapless, hapless human called Arthur Zen, who is saved from ear destruction by alien with just second to spar by his good friend for Prefet. Prefet, who then at first believes to be human, actually turned out, turn out to be an alien working for something called the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So of a combination travel guy slash Wikipedia for intergalactic travelers roaming uh, about the universe. It is a series of five books. I have read all five, but the best of all is the first for me, obviously. It is science fiction with humor and social criticism, a dry but hilarious humor, a funny story through the universe and time, charming character. It has everything I like. I like this book so much that I even have a tattoo on my right collar showing the, the hitchhiker hand and the, and the text, <laughs> don't panic. Okay, and, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful for me. And to finish, I, I just want to make a special mention of my favorite book by a national writer. Uh, Harawa, uh, you can see in this picture yeah, cool. uh, next to the next to the the hitch hiker guys to the galaxy and Harawa written by Jose Napoleon Ruiz published it in 1950 and it is also a masterpiece and yeah. this, I, my I first this, book actually the first book I read complete yeah it's, it's beautiful really. It's so the details. And well, the, the history is, is beautiful. And I took this picture today in the afternoon because I saw you my copy of Douglas Allen's book. And I have some, some books from A Song of Ice and Fire, uh, The Good Father, the yeah, interview Mario with Pozzo. Pa Mario Pozzo, right? the interview with the vampire and rice uh, and fry right and the talisman uh stephen hawking uh, stephen king sorry <laughs> stephen hawking is yeah, yeah it's really, that, that's a whole different person but he has a, a book that the the story of the time is is good and yeah. and i have a, a copy of 100 year of Solitude. 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 And that's all. Thank you for listening. Well, that's a lot, my friend. Oh, nice collection of books. Yeah, yeah actually, Mar I, Mario Puzos. Mario Puzos, I like The Godfather, but 
Vendetta is also a good one. Pretty good one. Yeah, it's pretty. I have other 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 books like some ejemplares, some ejemplar, ejemplares. Yes, some books, paper books. Some books or some copies. Yes, yeah, some copies. You can say some um, copies. Yeah, I, I have other 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 books. Okay, uh, like now I got a phrase for you. Since okay. I learn how to read, since I learn how to read. Okay, since I you learn said how to since read. I learned to read, but actually we say it since I learn how to read. How to read, since I learn how to read. Okay, teacher, thank you. And you also told me, in fact, remember, we usually say as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, I know it, but I didn't remember. It's the motion, okay. for the motion. Yeah. And one word that it was okay, just the pronunciation, mind blowing, mind blowing. Mind blowing, yeah. There are okay, many thank books you very much. Yeah, oh, excellent. And it was a pretty good and well delivered presentation. Now let's see, Daniel. Are you ready, Daniel? Uh, yes, teacher, but I don't make a um, presentation. No uh, problem, no problem. You okay. can just talk, that's okay. You are cool and cool though. Okay, and I, I'm sorry, I don't, wait, wait a minute, give me a second. See, we are going to wait for him. And then the last today is going to be Martha. You ready, Martha? Yes, Chief teacher, I am ready. Okay, let's see, we are just waiting for Daniel. Okay. Uh, the time was two minutes, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I will talk about how is to work with, I just forgot that word from Alcaldías. City halls. City halls, yeah. Uh, to work with city halls is a really long, uh, long-term relationship and project usually because they are really 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 into the papeleo bureaucracy no sé cómo. paperwork paperwork yeah they have to make a contract for everything they have to check everything is fine we have to send everything to the uh, requisitos requirements all the requirements that they want usually they take uh, the requirements and the documents have to be authenticated by a lawyer yeah yes and uh, the the way that he works, that them or they, they, they work. It's with with an retainer. You yep. have to take an police. I don't know uh, secure police. Yeah, police. Yeah, a police. So they can give you the money and you will work with that money and you have to put more money from your back because it, after a month that you are working in the project, you can give them some uh, Estimaciones, como, como sería. Estimates. Some estimates. So when they see, for example, they give you 500 for mm. 
retainer and you yeah. already spend uh, 50, 1500, 15,000. So you will like, there is the an estimate that prove that you spend all that money and they will go to the project to check if you already uh, do the things that appear in the estimate. And after that, usually it take about the, well, the fastest uh, city hall that we work with take about um, two weeks for the payment. And the longest one, it was about one year. So it's really, um, sometimes really difficult to work with city halls, but it's nice because it's a great experience and because the same uh, problem maybe that the payments take sometimes too much, they have no problem if the, for example, all the, Com computers yes yeah how uh, a uh, not really high uh, prices but are all in the same level for example because they know that it's usual the people make some prestamos loans made some loans to work with them so it will usually usually uh, paid with the same project so the prices are a little higher that if it will be a project with like a, a natural person that paid in the few days okay yeah well so it's a little bit complex yeah it's really complex and we have a trouble in Acajutla because we spend a lot of money and the only things that left in the project it's a park and oh, really? another little stuff yeah but the place that uh, we are going to, we are going to build the park it's occupied 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 by some sellers Ooh. that they don't want to move because they say we, they are actually they are in the street their place that where they are is the an old park so that's a huge problem to buy in that market because you are right there and you don't have any place to park your car parking lot Par yeah parking lot okay well pretty interesting thank you very much daniel thank you let's see i was making just some corrections right at the beginning you said how is how is to work with city phones the proper expression would be how is it like? How is oh, it like to work with? Como es? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And let's see if you have done already. Si ya has hecho. If you have done already. Okay. Thank you very much, Daniel. Let's see. Marta, your turn. Okay, teacher. I share my screen. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, good evening, everybody. I'm Marta, and this night I speak about the new position for purchasing. Uh, I will help with the next implementation in my company. They must efficient workflow is first you have create a new requisition 
Second, you need to add items, vendor, quantity, and cost. Third, you will register one or more quotes. It would be better if you include more quotes. Then you may want to add a touch for support. After that, you select the best supplier and the most convenient offer. Then you should have to submit the requisition for approval. In the system, the person in charge could have decided approvals or denied. If the person select approvals, the requisition is converted to purchaser order and assign the ID number in the PO. Finally, the purchaser order is electronic printing and sent for email to supplier. Just that. Thank you. Perfect. Very well done. Excellent, Marta. Okay, guys, for tomorrow, tomorrow I got, uh, let me see, Susana, Shanira, and Nestor. Please don't forget, tomorrow's your turn, guys. Okay, to the ones who did it today, perfect, very well done. Excellent work. I congratulate you guys. And let's see. Okay, okay, okay. We got right now an other activity. Let me show you a little something here. Okay. If you remember at uh, the beginning of the class of the of this course in class number one. We were talking about comparatives, comparatives. But today we are going to focus on superlatives. If you remember comparatives, uh, when we have a, an adjective and we want to make it into a comparison, we add ER if it's a one syllable adjective. Now, when it's a superlative, we add first, before the word, we place that. And at the end of the word, we get EST. An example, small, the smallest. Fast, the fastest. I'm sorry, there was a mistake here and I didn't fix it. So Green Park is the smallest royal park in London. This is the cheapest restaurant in the neighborhood. Now, when we have, remember, in some cases, when the adjective ends in E, we just add, well, at the beginning, the, and at the end, ST. Large, the largest. Hyde Park is the largest park in London. Next, we got one syllable adjective sending in consonant plus vowel plus consonant. In that case, we double the consonant. You see, first the, then we double the consonant, and then EST, like in big, biggest. The British Museum is the biggest museum in London. See, big, biggest. When we have a two syllable adjectives ending in ER, O, W, L, E, we place the particle, the article, uh, D before and then EST. Narrow, the narrowest. Gentle, the gentlest. Clever, the cleverest. Bercy Bridge is the narrowest bridge in London. When we have a two syllable adjectives that ends in Y, we cross out the Y and change it for I and EST. Look, busy, busiest. 
we got rid of the I, and then we got busiest. Oxford Street is the busiest street in London. Two or more syllable adjectives. Again, look, the most, when we have two or more syllable adjectives. First, we place the most plus the adjective in its base form. Look, popular, the most popular. Camden Market is the most popular market in London. We have some irregular. When we talk about irregular superlatives, these are adjectives that got their, their own form for the superlative, like good, the best, bad, the worst, far, the farthest, or the furthest. Each one of both of them, it's okay. So remember, the best, the worst, the worst, the farthest or the furthest. I will share the presentation at the end of the class. Don't worry, don't worry. Now we go back to the manual because I want to <coughs> continue with the explanation there. Here we go. Okay, we got pair work. Look, how does your company organize schedules? In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Quite two quite very interesting questions. Okay, the exercise says that you're going to solve that working in pairs, okay? So I need you to do exercise three and exercise four. I share already the image in the group. We're going to do, how does your company organize schedules? In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understanding there is a typo here you need that here. And then to answer those two questions from the conversation, that's quite easy. So guys, you're going to have four minutes to discuss those two questions from part number three. You're going to be working in pairs. Let me see. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Can you repeat? How do how does your company organize schedule? Uh, my company um, in my company there are we answer to two question Num part number three. I send them to the WhatsApp group. Yeah. yeah. You, you got it, William? No, understand. Les mandé las preguntas al grupo, William. Y ustedes tienen que contestarlas, parte 3 y parte 4. Estamos trabajando en el manual en la página 27. Uh, page. Uh, express the activity for the week 
and in this moment, uh, uh, some some persons uh, and how to organize schedules. In my case, is human resource uh, assign different uh, schedule for the people because in our company is uh, many country. So uh, each country have different uh, schedule for Start for get out. In my oh. case, what is the problem? In my case, um, I start eight thirty. Uh, the ball beside the chief to each. Um, Co-worker. Your opinion, where does, where, what is the, the most efficient way to avoid understaffing and understaffing? No sé qué es eso, busquemos. Over staffing. Yes. Over. Yes. Tener un, una mayor cantidad de empleados. O menor. Over and under. Es the same. No. Exceso y falta. Yes. Over o exceso. Mm, ok. Mm. Uy, no sé. Teacher. Yes. I am sick. Mm -hmm. Yes, I got five days of leave of absence. No iré al trabajo por cinco días. Mm, you work in the same uh, that work in the Roxana and me. <laughs> the license do no cuenta. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That's the way it goes. Están grabando, María Alejandra. Uh, that's why uh, we don't have uh, that problem, the overstaffing or or understaffing, um, because um, all we have the same schedule. Um, but uh, in my opinion, I think um, we. All is um, organize the the schedule for for areas areas okay. when when the company have many people. Uh, I don't know. That's only in your okay. opinion. Mm. I'm not sure. Like uh, having a platform, you know. Um, for example, in my case, um, we have like experience and we know when it's like the high season because when we are on vacation, it's required to have more uh, staff, more people working in the area. Um, and when, for example, when the restaurant or the bar is Cool. Um, if there is missing one person in the room, if they have a lot of work, 
most of the or some of the employees are trained so if in one area um, are not busy and another area uh, the other area needs a person they like change they send one person to the other area because they they are trained but just in some cases uh, but the most efficient way to avoid uh, under overstaffing um oh, i don't know it's difficult like to have a platform to have something like a platform uh or to know when are when is it the high season and when wh when are the the busier days in the company most efficient way to Teacher, how do you pronounce avoid? Teacher. Yes, Claudio. How how do you pronounce avoid? Avoid. Avoid. Okay. Avoid. Oh. Avoid. Over this. Avoid. Over staffing. Yeah. And under staffing. Yes. Perfect. Exceso de personal y falta de personal. Yep. Okay. Thanks, teacher. In your case, Francisco. How does your company? Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. You finish? Yeah, more or less. Sort of, sort of in a way. Okay, in two minutes, we go back. Okay, teacher. Shanita, you stay with me tonight. Okay, teacher. And tomorrow is your turn, William. Max. Tomorrow you stay with me after class. Mañana se queda conmigo después de la clase, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. I will let everybody know that in one minute we go back, okay?
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I was checking out the groups and you were like, everybody was participating, that's excellent. Let me see how are we doing with time because we have, okay. Okay, guys. Now, let me share with you. We are not going to discuss this yet because we are going to do another activity related to it, okay? Let me share something with you. Okay. In your manual, the INSA4 manual, page number 28, you got here in page number 28, the exercise five, how to use superlative forms of adjectives. Use the superlative form of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group. Jack is the fastest server. That's an example, you see? That was the saddest moment in the chip. The busiest hour is during lunch. The most interesting customers come to our restaurant. The superlative form of, for one syllable adjective is made of the plus the adjective plus EST. Adjectives that are two or more syllables long use the plus most plus adjective for the superlative form. Look, Jack is the fastest, the saddest, the busiest, but when we have a long adjective, the most, okay? And the adjective in the simple form. Kitchen managers have the best schedules. I usually receive the worst tips. Adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative forms do not follow the EST rule. So they have their own rules, their own word, remember. Now, the exercise. Okay, we got two exercises here. Hold on just a second. Here we go. Exercise six and exercise seven. You are going to, again, work in groups. In this case, the exercise is different because it's not about talking here for the whole class, but discussing in groups. And that's what I'm checking, okay? That's why I'm moving from group to group to see how, are, how you are doing. And remember, if you got any question, please, you can holler for me. The platform allows you to do that. So from here, we are doing exercise five and exercise six. You will have five minutes and then we will come back because this one, we are going to do it here as a whole group, okay? I sent you the image already. So let's see, uh, let me recreate groups. Groups are created, please jump in. The second, uh, don't use, um, don't use the best schedule as a reward. As a reward. Reward. I The two words are the same. Yes, the fastest, fastest word was. Uh, I think the number three, Jen is, Jen is the fastest. 
fastest. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. And is the fastest. Yes. Delivery orders are the most popular. The most popular right now. Popular. <laughs> Can you repeat me, please? Popular. Ah, popular. Okay. I think that are the most popular. And you, Nestor, what do you think? The number four. Yes. Uh, let me see. Number four. I think is. Oh, okay. It's a good career. Naomi, she is, she can, she can apply it to the Spanish teacher in the yes, it is. extranjero, abroad. Yeah, abroad. Abroad, abroad. really? Okay. That's cool. Yeah. But it's, I mean, I have some friends that they teach Spanish. I wouldn't do it. For me, it's too difficult. Spanish. Yes. 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 Teaching Spanish is very, very, very difficult. More difficult than teaching English. Um, and for you, girl? Mm, so, so. It's interesting. It's bastante complejo, ¿verdad? Enseñar yeah. todas las reglas gramaticales. En el español. Yes. ¿Y cómo varía yes. de país en país? Spanish is so complex, so very complex. Yes. Okay. I mean, for me, Spanish <laughs> is one of the okay. is pretty difficult to teach. Pretty difficult. Yeah, no. imagine, Fernando. Just an example. Just uh, uh, the, the gender. Nosotros le ponemos género las palabras. Okay? Yeah. La uña está en el dedo que forma parte de la mano que se une por medio de la muñeca al brazo, a el brazo, donde está el codo del hombre. Ok, how do you explain the difference between el and la? How do you make that concept get into people? ¿Cómo le explico eso a la gente? El y la. It's, yes, it's very <laughs> complex. Yeah, that's general. why it, that's why English is pretty easy to think. El inglés es facilísimo para pensar. Yeah. Y cómo puede, cómo cada, por ejemplo, en nuestro país, en cada departamento, incluso acá cambia de yeah, cómo nombramos la, las cosas y que nos variations. podemos referir a, a una sola cosa de múltiples formas. Ambar, hello Ambar, how are you? I'm tired, teacher. Oh really? A, a hard day at work? Yes, I I have a hard day in before the work. I I could many things. And you got the flu? Ah, uh, so so I I have a how do you say? Tengo la nariz tapada. A running nose. Yeah, man, that's terrible. Yes. That's so terrible. Don't worry, Amber. We are, oh my gosh, we're almost done. Ya casi se nos fue el tiempo. Yes, we have uh, only eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. Extra tiempo.
Okay, guys, before we move on, let me please one last time to get the attendance. Because otherwise I forget in the end. Sorry. Lupe. Let's see. La cámara de la niña. Let's see. Just give me a second. Ambar Ili Alfaro Gómez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Ordanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Okie dokie. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, number one says the most important thing is to find a substitute for six employees for six employees. Shanira, number two. Don't use the best schedule as a reward. Then use the best schedules as a reward. Perfect. Number three. Number three goes to, let's see. Claudia, number three is yours. Jane is the fastest. Quintress. Okay. Is the the fastest, fastest waitress. Yeah, yeah, they place the same one. Now let's see, Nicolas, number four. Nicolas, hello. Sorry, sorry. The delivery orders are the most popular right now. Are the most popular right now. Perfect. Nestor, number five. The number five is mm, this restaurant has the most pretty decorations. Okay, the most pretty decorations, the prettiest. Ending in Y, termina en Y. You erase the I and get EST. Number six. Uh, 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 let's see, Gen Z, number six. The kitchen manager worked the longest shift. The longest Long. shift. Okay. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid the overstaffing and understaffing. Provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Take working preferences into an account. Schedule having your employees' strengths in mind. Allow, permitir, for changes in the schedule. Prevent absenteeism using phone reminders. I repeat the last, the last one. Prevent absenteeism using phone reminders. Okay, guys, let's see. Time's up. Wow, time flew today. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Expect to see you. Be on time. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. Aha, uh Chanira. -huh, Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. How is it going, Janira? Where's the camera? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> teacher. My weekend was very stress, stressful. Oh, really? A lot of stuff to do? Well, yeah, you told me. Yes, uh, I slept um, six hours together. Uh, oh, between Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. I really oh. tired, teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's I, why they say that you got the big box. Well, not much, but it's it's more than the regular Payment. money. Yeah. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, extra money is always welcome. <laughs> yes, of course, teacher. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. And let's see, Shanira, I know that you are being, you have been very busy, but I need you to work a little bit more on vocabulary. And yes, the know. grammar, grammar, you are having problems still with grammar. Please remind me tomorrow to help you out with grammar, okay? Okay, teacher. And also remember, Janita, y también recuerdes, es something that I show you the first time we were talking. Let's see, just let me get something here ready to show it to you. Oops, this is not allowed for you. Okay. Remember that you can get into the platform into the platform, remember, we come all the way down, we get the Centro de Ayuda. And in the Centro de Ayuda, I would like you to come here to the grammar section. In the grammar section, we have basic, intermediate, and advanced, okay? I would like okay. you to check them both. In basic, you got simple present. This is very simple, okay? But you got should, shouldn't, okay. I would like you to check them out if it's possible, okay? okay? It is because, number 11. Well, I would like you to check all of them. Okay. On your own time. Because there are some things, there are some things that are like a little bit complex, but check them out and perhaps they can help you out to improve in some grammar aspects, okay? That was okay. the basic, then we got the intermediate, okay? The intermediate is shorter. This one in intermediate is mandatory for you, gerunds, okay? Then okay. you got today, today's class, look, superlatives. Yeah. Okay, but from here, I would like you to get number nine and number 10. Number one, nine, and 10 are mandatory for you. Okay. Past progressive yep. and simple past, number one. Number nine, gerunds, subject and object. And number 10, 
infinitives after certain verbs. Those okay. ones mandatory. I need you to check them out, please. Okay, teacher. And I will, ask, I will ask you for a favor. When you do, yo sé que no tiene todo el tiempo del mundo, así que cuando ya lo haya revisado, let me know. So we can talk again about them. Así podemos hablar de nuevo de ellos. Okay, okay. Okay, because during this week, I can, during this week, well, from now to till the end, except in tomorrow, except on the día mañana, I can program extra with you if you want. So, reprogramarle una sesión extra si usted quiere. Okay, perfect teacher, thank you. No, uh, no, no problem. I know that you are tired and that it's been a long day for you. And <laughs> as I imagine, you are going to continue working, right? Yes, I need to finish some stuff, but I I promise a rest. lot on weekend. You need to rest also. Yes, I know, teacher. Maybe yes. today work. I'll work at middle night only. Until until midnight. Until, yeah. Well, remember you gotta rest. Yes, I know, teacher. Um, on on free day, I don't know. How do you say um? Day off. Day off, yeah. Day mm. off, on day off. No, that's holiday. Ah, holiday yeah, it's a holiday. Yeah. Yes. If you think it's a holiday, then I'll try to rest on holiday. Yeah, that would be good. Is there any topic that you would like me to help you? Well, I have problem with show, cool, and my, but you oh. remember all the time. Sí, pero ahí le mencioné donde puedo buscar, ¿verdad? Yes, uh, this, is, this is exactly I, what, I what you asked. were looking for. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, if, if, you think that that information is not quite clear or not enough, se siente que esa información no es suficiente o no está clara, o que le gustaría probar haciendo ejercicios, let me know and I'll help you, okay? Okay, teacher, okay. Thank I will you. help you sending you exactly what you need, okay? Okay, okay, thank you for your help, teacher. Thank you oh, a lot. I'm here to help you, my dear. Have a good night, Janina, take care. Hi, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Oh, try to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> yes, teacher. I try. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Okay, we're going to wait for a few seconds.
Okay, time's up. See you tomorrow.